on IG. Nana Pia Mens and the embattled CEO of Xylophone Media, Men's Gold, has angrily unfollowed the Xylophone Media artist on his Instagram page, except Kumi Guitar and Stone Boy. Except Kumi Guitar and Stone Boy. My people, my people, this is what the, the, the story is saying. This morning, Naman unfollowed his darling girl, Rebecca Champon, a.k.a. Becca, as well as his darling boy, Shatawali. Besides them, Nana Pia Mensa has unfollowed Joyce Blessing, Benedict Gaffa, Obini, Obibini, Zinel Zhu, Bibi Bright, James Gardner, Too Sweet, and, and others. He is currently only following 25 people at the time of filing this report. It is not clear his motivation for this action, but we can attempt to explain it that, um, well, we can attempt to explain from what GH Page source tells us. Sorry for that. So basically, that is it. Now, this is what GHP is saying. You see, most of the xylophone media artists have been very disappointing during this media trial of their boss, Nana Pia Mensa, for fraud, allegedly. Shatawale has announced that all future clients should contact the Shatter Movement Management for bookings, not xylophone media as it used to be when Namwan was in control of his affairs. The self-acclaimed dancehall king has not been impressive in defending his boss and allegations of shady deals. All at his attempts has been so flimsy that he is never taken seriously. So basically, this is what a GHP is trying to put across. Well, um, for me, um, if I was Namwan, I would have done the same. Because, look, um, I, I once said here that all those guys who were making noise, I stand by Namwan, I stand by Namwan, I stand by Namwan. Prior to the state, I mean, charging him with fraud, people were supporting him. As soon as the state charged him with fraud, everybody stopped supporting Namwan. My people, all his people, very close aides, all of them stopped. I don't want to mention anybody's name. You would have guessed whose name I would have mentioned, but I don't want to mention his name. You know, that guy suffered from a hand inside too much. All the guys, like, yeah, everybody shunned them one. It's only Kumi Guitar, and uh, some boy hasn't even said anything, but I'm very sure that if this report is anything to go by, Namwan has a very good reason for still keeping Stone Boy on his IG page and Kumi Guitar. For him, that is his favorite too. The rest all be baller. They don't deserve his attention. That is what the story is trying to put across per the action taken by Namwan. So for me, I think it's an eye-opener and all those who claim to be standing by Namwan. Now it looks like the cat is out of the bag. I remember Shatawale went to take Ifia uh, Shwajnega to go and be his MC at Mancha Agwena. Somebody who had been insulting your boss. Well, um, maybe he also took notice of that and also unfollowed his darling boy, Shatawale. Yes. So, I don't know what you think about this. 0267 327 do, do you think that what Namwan is doing or has done is the right move? Do you think he's paying back people for not giving him the needed support? Becca, we go money. Yes, so, well, we just want to treat this as an allegation, as reported by G.H. Page. That is why I'm giving them the necessary accolades so far as this story is concerned. Yes, and uh, but I believe that people at G.H. Page know what they are about, and definitely they wouldn't be throwing dust into the eyes of Ghanaians just like that. So, G.H. Page, I've given you some respect. That is why I am treating this story of yours, and I hope that you don't disappoint me. Ahmed Killing. We feel insulted by Ken.